I want you to get comfortable kind of like, we're not, I'm going to hold this. So hop in your stance for me. And you're going to get comfortable kind of swinging down this lane right here. But I want you to kind of just stay back with this up here. And I'm, we're not going to use this. I'm just kind of pointing yeah. at it right now just so I'm, I can kind of yeah. stay out of the way and also like yeah. kind of let you do your thing. So almost like hold the finish here at the end of this swing. Yeah. And then I'm going to just like kind of lean you back into the position. Hold that finish. And I just want the upper half to lean back. Now we just got to remember this once we start moving the ball. Yeah. And those, those balls are going up a little bit right now. I think we just got to get used to now that we're sitting back in the swing a little bit more, getting those hands extended away from the body. Great swing right there. Okay. And that, like, that swing looks good. It's just your hands are, are finishing, rotating around with your body instead of just kind of finishing away from your body, you know? Like, it's almost like you're leaning back. Like, you don't want to reach for the ball with your body, but you're almost leaning back and then reaching for that ball with your hands. That's the one. That's what we want right there. Like you're letting that ball come to you until it gets to this point. You're just timing it up to this point. And these up pitches are probably the ones you can get away with most having a little bit of a lean forward, you know? Let those hands finish the work. There we go. The high one's tough, right? Yeah. Like you have to almost stay elevated on top of it and then really let your hands, the top hand really, yeah. do the work. Great swing. So having the good posture and a nice good lean back on the swing, that's really the only thing that happens every once in a while yeah. is you kind of rotate the hands with your body instead of letting them work independently yeah. at the end of that swing. And that's just going to happen. That's kind of a natural. Staying low, staying back. Great job. Okay. Little, little too rotational yeah. with the hands, with the body. There it is. That's the one. Don't lean forward for this one. Don't reach. It's furthest away from your body, but don't reach for it. You're going to be able to reach this thing. Have a nice lean back into that posture. Over the plate, but lean back. That's the one we want. Hitting that outside pitch with authority. Great swing. Now lean back, just like we talked about before, just helps you naturally kind of sit. Yeah into that back leg a little bit more and gives you better posture yeah. overall. I want the same swing. We're just letting the ball come to us. I still want that nice lean back into the leg, letting your hands work independently from your body once you make the turn. Good swings. Great swings right there. Okay. That's a great job with the hands. Then if we add that lean back with the leg, even better. The lean back, let's get comfortable getting those hands going away from your body. There we go. Uh, okay. That high outside one. We got to get used to, we got to get that top hand through up there. Like everything looks good until we get to that point of extension. And then all of a sudden we're just kind of like just lazy swinging through instead of really getting that top hand through. Get that top hand through. I'm going to throw it up there again. There we go. Hitting that pitch with authority. Great job staying inside those two. I know that last one you didn't hit the best part of the barrel, but good job staying inside of it. All right, get this timing down. Oh boy, Henry. Great start. One thing I noticed on those last two, just not tracking it all the way. Track that thing all the way. It's the most basic thing, right? See ball, hit ball, but it's, it's the easiest to forget too. Get that top hand through. There we go. Same thing, letting the hands work, get the top hand through. There we go. Let's get that rolling. I'll take that all day. So a lot of the balls, when you feel like you should probably be pulling it, or like even hitting it up the middle somewhere, 
a lot of that is because you're going up and forward and messing your timing and then your bat path changes instead of being able to really clear those hands. Okay. That's one of those ones where we just got to let those hands work a little bit more independently. That's it. That's it. Great turn. We got to fight the urge to come up out of that swing and stay into that back leg. We're making a turn and the turn's got to be in the power position for a back leg, you know? So we got to get comfortable with almost staying into this, like this leg being bent in all different positions under your body. We got to get comfortable with keeping it bent, but still powerful at the same time, still strong. Great job. Great job. One more. Great swing. 